Signed numbers is a topic that's listed in the Algebra 1 list of things to learn. And really that belongs to foundational concepts. We need to learn how to use signed numbers. We need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. If you look at foundational topics and you, you just don't know your number facts, there are a number of programs here that can help you with that. Signed numbers is like a little quiz on signed numbers. It's like flashcards to try to get you to do them faster and faster. But it's very important for you to learn how to do signed numbers. And it's a little crazy. Why don't we do a quiz on add, subtract, multiply, and divide? And use this quiz to talk about signed numbers. I'm going to put my name in here. This. Oops, I can't, didn't spell it right. If you didn't spell it right, you can get you can fix it. Okay. Now let's talk about adding sign numbers. Begin. I don't have a pencil here to draw with, so I'm just going to have to talk to you. If we are adding sign numbers, some of these are positive and some of these are negative. I don't know why kids have so much trouble. Just think money. You kids are good with money. So just think about sign numbers. Think of positives as number money you have and negatives as money you owe. So right here, this problem, 7 plus negative 3 says to me I have $7 in my wallet and I just spent 3. How many do I have now? This one means I owe my mother three dollars and I owe my father one dollar. Do I have any money? No, I owe the universe four dollars. Some kids mess up when they see a negative added to a negative because in middle school, I hate to say it, the teacher said two negatives make a positive. That is true, but only when you multiply, not when you add. So you're going to have to get your head straightened around. If you're saying to yourself, two negatives make a positive, it doesn't. Man, no matter, no wonder we have trouble with the national debt. People think if we have more negatives, we get money. We don't. A negative and a negative stays negative. Oh, look, this is a good day. We have four dollars. And Grandma sent me seven for my birthday. I've got money. I'm going to have $11. Oh, this one's a bad day. I owe my father $4 and I owe my mother $3. I am in the hole $7. Do you get, oh, let's go down here where some, this is I have $5 and I owe 11 I owe 6 more than I have. And since it's owing, I'm going to say negative 6 now this program can be used to see if you can check the signed numbers. Now I'm not, I'm just going to say a practice quiz here because I don't want to go out the printer. I don't even know whether I have a printer attached to this computer. So watch what happens when I check it. All the ones that we did, we got correct. The others are wrong. See how this says 5 correct. Now let's look at subtracting signed numbers just to get the idea of how the rules work. This time it looks just like the first group, except there's a minus sign in between. Now you can think minus sign in between means that you're doing the opposite of whatever is here. So this is equivalent to negative 4 plus 4, because a minus a minus is the same. If you take away a debt, if somebody tears up an IOU, you gain from the tearing up of a negative. So this would be negative 4. This is the same as plus 4, so this would be 0. Negative 12 minus 1 is negative 13. There was no minus a minus on that one. Oh, it, there is here. Minus 12, O 12, but now we tore up an IOU for $7. So that's the same as gaining 7. So that would be negative 5. 
Ah, uh, here, right, negative 16. I hope you get the idea here. Oh, let's come down here. 4 minus negative 9 minus negative is the same as a plus. 9 and 4 is 13. Let's check. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. The ones we did, we got right. The others, we didn't. Now, when you multiply sign numbers, we could practice add and subtract where they're mixed up. That would be good for you. When you do multiplying, you have that strange rule that a positive times a negative is a negative. A positive times a positive is a positive. But a negative times a negative is a positive. This is where two negatives make it positive, only in multiplication and division. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Negative 6 times 11 is negative 66. I hate to even do this. Negative 7 times negative 5 is positive 35, because a negative times a negative is a positive. This one is 28. A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. You're really saying, I've got six negative fives. I, I opened up six envelopes, and every one of them was a bill for five dollars. So that would be, you would be in the hole negative 30. And we can check the ones we did. You should work on all these sign numbers, and you can work your way up to operations with sign numbers mixed up, you should get really good at sign numbers. You will be handicapped your whole life unless you get good at these sign numbers. So let's try it. Do well. There are other things that can be used to practice sign numbers. The ticket game is, a, is sort of self-explanatory. You were given 10 types of tickets and you're supposed to click on them until the losses are red and the gains are green. So your allowance is given to you, it's $15. Is that a gain or, or a loss? It's a gain. You get a birthday card, hmm, that's a gain. You buy a shirt, that's a loss. You owe your parents, that's a loss. You have money in your room, that's a gain. You babysit, you buy a calculator, that's a loss. Now, this is to see whether you can tell what's something you have and what's something you don't. Check the colors, everything's cool. So now you're supposed to do the math and figure out how rich you are. This is to change from the ordinary. And it takes you through a lot of situations in the real world. You might want to try that. Like I said, if you have trouble just with the number facts, there's this. You can do sign number flashcards here. And... This is shooting assign numbers. Have fun. Just a lot of variety. Work on your sign numbers. God bless.